In the last two days, the value of Hollow Chain did drop by 40%, but finally now the bulls did pull up the value by 20%. What will happen to Hollow Chain in the future? Will the value go up or will the value go down? Guys, check out my Patreon. For the low, low price here, you will be able to access my VIP private group, profitable trading setups, and an exclusive Discord chat. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description and join the most profitable Patreon group on YouTube. What's up everybody, it's Crypto Ben bringing you the latest and most poor news in the crypto world. Guys, today we're going to talk about Holochain and its price prediction. Guys, if you do enjoy this video, it means so much to me if you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. So here we are in trade view and finally super good things are happening to the whole market. Every single coin right now is going up. The bearish market, the market crash is done now and we're finally seeing some upside here and good things are happening to all of the coins so today we're going to talk about holochain here so what's been happening to holochain holochain hits its all-time high here at 0 0.031 basically and after that the value did just go down it just did dip so much down actually if we go from here to here we basically lost 40 percent so this is a huge correction for this coin, not only for this coin, but a lot of different coins also did correct a lot. So, so many coins here that did this do huge corrections, like Wink here. Wink also did super huge uh, corrections. If you go from here to here, 47% basically. Hollow Chain was the only coin that did go down. All the coins that go down, that's why a lot of people knew that all, uh, all these coins will eventually go back up. We just need to wait, wait it out. And that's about it so a lot of people did wait with, with it out and now we can see some huge improvements in the future because uh, now the rsi is all the way down here and we have a lot more room for growth and for this, the value of this coin to continue not, not only this coin but all the coins here so maybe the first half of april wasn't really that good but the second of the second half of april should be a really really good month for us so those next couple, like, oh yeah, 20 days should be pretty cool to see here. The value did jump back up. That's so cool to see because look at this here. Look at this here. We got, we bounced off of this support line here. Let's go to the uh, one hour chart so we can see things more clearly. So yeah, we have here a giant support line. And because of that, we got, like I said, we have support here. And the value did bounce off from this area here. We got, it bounced off here 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 and here so this is like four support points basically and that's why now when it did hit this area we did bounce off and continue to go up something that's really important you have to know i, I added this new line this is a 200 ema so this is this is the line that really predicts the future of coins if it's going to go down or if it's going to go up if the value if the graph here is over this line that means that it, we're pretty bullish, right? So we're gonna go up. But if it goes underneath it, then the value is going to go down. As you can see here, we were underneath it, and that's why the value did go down. If we go maybe to the uh, 50 minute chart, you can see we did hit this part a lot sooner. So in this, if you go maybe to the five minute, maybe we can see even more, but it's gonna be a little bit tougher. Yeah, so you can see this huge, huge huge rejection so basically when we did cross it right over here the value of this coin did go down by a lot so let's go back to the one hour chart but now as you can see the value is finally changing we get, did cross it right over here again and now we're underneath it this giant orange line is basically underneath the value here and that's so good because now we're in a bullish market again and now we have bullish behavior if we go look at here also boom we just passed it here and now we can continue to go up and do some really bullish behavior like go, like go to the upside here we have like a lot of volume you have to remember that also like look at this volume. let's go to the actually let's go to the four hour chart so you can see a little bit clearly yeah here like five billion boom three billion boom we have 1.7 billion there was a lot basically we were going pretty much uh, a pretty good uh, amount here also one thing you have to remember is uh how do you spot a trend if, it, if it's just a trend that's going to be in the short term or something that's going to be indefinite well basically there are a few ways that you can do it but uh, one one is that you can look at the volume here you can see if the if the selling volume is slowly decreasing that means it's slowly going to stop selling people are slowly, slowly, slowly going to start selling so as you can see here we had here 10 billion almost 11 billion then we had six six boom four here that means slowly the value 
the uh, the selling volume they lose its momentum and that's super cool and super good because that means uh people will, after that people will start to buy and that is exactly what happened here people really started to buy good things are happening so when do you really know that the a coin will drop in its value so much more uh well it depends but a good sign if it passes this orange line on the four hour chart or the one day chart then it's going to be pretty bear bearish basically so if we do pass it on the four hour chart it's going to be super hard for this coin to go to like newer heights that's the thing so we cannot pass this line here on the four hour chart we can pass it here we can pass it on the one hour chart like we did so we can pass it on the 15 minute chart that's not a problem but we cannot do this on the four hour chart or the one day chart because if we do then it's a long term down it we're gonna go drop in in a pretty long way it's gonna take some time for this coin to rebound again this is something that happened to bitcoin and after the this 200 ema uh, did cross bitcoin bitcoin did explode like it, it, it dropped in value so much that's what happened like 2010 2018 basically pretty interesting to see here pretty good news so like like i said this is so gonna be pretty interesting now a lot of people will make a lot of profit now because of something like this because uh, there there's like a couple ways you can do something like you can just earn money like this you can basically do some uh, day trading because if you did buy like here this is 20 percent profit for you that's just amazing so uh, you can buy here. a lot of people can buy now because I don't think that Hall chain is going to be any lower than this ever again. Not really ever again, but at least not in this giant bull cycle that we've been having uh, this year and the last basically. So now it's basically the time, uh, best time to buy it. Was, well, it actually was the best time to buy it here, but still got a huge chance to buy because even if it just touches where, we're, where we were before, that's a 30% increase basically. So that will be pretty cool. Like 30% profit is still pretty cool. But like I said, in the future, all these coins, like not, not only Hologen, but all these coins will be worth so much more. Guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. So let's check out Hologen's Twitter here and see if we have some new news that we didn't know before. I think this is the only tweet that they did post. There are some, there, we have some uh, re retweets here, but that's not really that important. But this is the, the main one, I think. Uh, Rust in blockchain newsletter is out. Read about variety of Rust projects, including Holochain. That's about it. You can check out this article if you want for yourself. And what do they say about Holochain here? So we don't really have any new tweets. The reason why the value did go up isn't because of Holochain posting something. It's because the whole market is going up. And we're pretty much now we're in a really bullish market. Much more than we were before. So if we do look at the four hour chart, we can see that we do the RSI is pretty much pulled back now. We do have a lot more room for growth and we can go continue to go up now. And that's going to be pretty interesting to see because you have to remember in the last, let's see from here to here, 10 days, the RSI was all the way to here. And that, that was pretty scary because we knew that we had to drop some way, somehow. And we did, like I said, we did here, we did drop. But now we have more room again. Now we have more room for growth. We can actually open up our bands here. And the bands are telling us that we have huge room for growth now. There's huge amounts of room for growth and we can continue to go up. And this is going to be pretty cool to see. Uh, this coin has like so much potential. We can continue to grow. There's so many things that, we can, that can happen to this coin. But I feel like it is a pretty good coin. I feel like a, little, a lot of people will back up this coin. And the value of this coin can increase by a lot. So what's gonna happen in this one again? So probably we're gonna hit this level here again. It's gonna we're gonna have a good chance for hitting like the 0 0.031 area. Can we get past that? There is a possibility we can do that, and I think we can go reach 0 0.050 area in this month. There is a good chance that we can do that. Like it all depends now what's gonna happen in this month, but. Uh, if we go from here to here, we had like a, like I said a 260% increase. If we do have the same kind of increase, then yeah, we can reach even more than what I just said. But if we just had, if we just double this value, that would be also pretty cool. If we just did 100% right now in April, that would be still pretty cool to see from this coin here. Like I said, really good potential for this coin. It has the potential to grow into something huge. 
We just need to wait it out and we just need them for, to release more things. That's that's also a really important part. We need the social apps. That's why we're waiting for social apps that really have proved that they work and everything is okay and people do enjoy them. Also a good indicator that the value is going down is uh, these two EMAs did cross. The blue did cross to red and we did go down by a lot here. To go to the one hour chart, I think that happened a lot sooner. Yeah, it, it happened right over here in this place here. And now, as you can see, we're finally they cross again, and the value should go up this time. Maybe we're gonna see some stuff selling here, but that's not gonna be a huge problem because the whole market is gonna go up. And like I said, good things are happening to this coin and every single coin here, so we can finally see some really bullish behavior here. So what do you guys think about Holochain? What is your future price prediction for this coin here? Will the price go up? Will the price go down? If you did enjoy this video, it means so much to me. If you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.